Welcome to a new video from Illustrator. and today I'm going to talk about how to properly set up and focus a stereo microscope. A stereo microscope is very useful if you want to inspect small components on a PCB. However, it is a bit tricky to properly focus a stereo microscope by just trial and error. So I'll be showing you a strategy on how to properly set up and focus a stereo microscope. And we will be using the SM40P stereo microscope, which we have used before in a previous video. First of all, you have to think about the way you're sitting. Especially when you're working with a microscope, you lean forward, you start to slouch, which is not very good for your posture. So try to keep your back straight and your shoulders back when you lean forward. Then turn the light on your microscope on and place a flat object underneath the microscope. Before you start adjusting anything, make sure that the diopter for both eyes is set to zero, the magnification knob is set to the lowest magnification possible and adjust the focus to bring the image into focus. But now, place your eyes for about one centimeter from the eyepieces and bring the eyepieces closer to or further away from each other until you see a single image with no black spots. The distance between the center of the eyepieces should match with the distance between the center of your pupils. Do not lean into the eyepieces because you won't see a good single image without black spots and you will probably smudge your lenses. So it is important to stay distant with your eyes from the eyepieces. Then set the magnification up all the way to the highest magnification possible. And again, bring the image into focus with the focusing knob. Make sure that the object you want to inspect is in the middle of the image. Then adjust the magnification back down to the lowest magnification again. Don't worry, the image could be slightly out of focus, so do not touch the focus knob anymore. Now we only still need to adjust the diopter knobs. When you normally wear glasses and you want to look through a microscope, you usually take off your glasses, just like me. Therefore, you have to adjust the diopter with the diopter knobs, so the image becomes sharp only for yourself. This is important, especially if you have different diopters for each eye. So adjust the focus for each eye separately by closing one eye at a time and turn each diopter ring until you get a sharp image for each eye. In the end, you should now have a parfocal microscope which means that the image will stay focused when you change the magnification to any value that is possible on your stereo microscope. In conclusion, with a stereo microscope, you do not experience the same luxury widescreen view as from a TV screen. And thus, it requires some attention when you want to get a sharp image. However, it enables you to see an object up close. A stereo microscope is a bit tricky to properly focus by just trial and error. So I've shown you with the SM40P stereo microscope a step-by-step -step strategy on how to properly set up and focus a stereo microscope in a parfocal way. So now I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.